our children and us don't have any problem in surfing our phones or playing video games. In fact, we don't have any doubt that we and our children can do both of these activities for hours and hours with full concentration. Now just think about studying for just half an hour. Oof, that might appear too hard to do. Despite we know that exercising, giving time to side business or other productive tasks are beneficial for us, still we prefer to watch TV, playing video games or scrolling through social media. Now you may argue that first set of activities are easy and don't require much effort but studying is hard and it requires extra efforts. But few people seem to have no problem doing exercise in the morning, studying for hours, giving time to their side business, along with cooking, cleaning and doing everything with interest and concentration. Don't you want to know how these people are motivated to do more and tackle difficult things? Or is there a way to make difficult things easy? For that, we need to look at a chemical release by our brain called dopamine. Dopamine is also called a pleasure molecule, but this is not what it does. Dopamine makes us desire things and that desire gives us motivation to get up and do difficult tasks. Now imagine that there are two tasks given to you. One is to finish your homework or do some difficult tasks like uh, setting your goals and another is to eat a piece of your favorite cake. Which task are you going to do first? 99.99% of people choose to eat cake first. Why? Because it gives pleasure to have your favorite cake. Our bodies have biological system called homeostasis, which means that our body likes to keep internal physical and chemical conditions at a balanced level. Whenever an imbalance occurs, our body adapts to it. Let me give you an example. When it's cold outside, our body shivers to generate heat and warm the body. Vice versa, when it is hot outside, we start to sweat to lose some of that heat. But at times we create tolerance, like few people don't feel much of cold or they don't feel much of hot. These people have created high tolerance power. Here another example could be tolerance of pain. Few people feel a lot of hurt when they are hit by something. Others don't feel much of Now just wonder for a moment how uncomfortable we would feel to stay away from our phones, social media, games, movies and for some other people, sugar. Now why do we feel uncomfortable? Because this has become our new normal which may harm us in long run. This is also called addiction. Now do you feel that addiction is just of smoking, drugs and alcohol? No. There is addiction of games, addiction of TV, which happens due to the dopamine release in our brains for those tasks. Now the point is, is there any way we can save ourselves and our children from getting addicted? Yes. If we break the pattern of new normal, we can detox ourselves. We can list down the tasks we are addicted to, which are not good for us, and choose one day of a week where we keep ourselves away from those high dopamine release tasks. Have little fun as possible on that day. Remove all sources of external pleasure. There will be lots of boredom, I tell you, but this will help. If you choose Friday, then you don't use your gadgets in any way. You can't watch TV, play any game or eat lots of sugary stuff. But instead of that, you can do stuff like exercise. You can choose to go on walk, clean house, 
talk to family members, cook, pray. You may feel bored, but this is the way to decrease the dose of dopamine beginning from one day. Now you will ask why it would work. Let's look at it this way. Imagine you are in a habit of having every single meal at the best restaurant in the city. Now this has become your new normal. Now if somebody offers you a plain bowl of rice, you may refuse. Now imagine you find yourself stuck in a deserted island for one day and you are starving. Suddenly that bowl of plain rice doesn't seem so bad. That is how dopamine detox works because it starves you from all the pleasure that you usually get and as a result it makes those less satisfying activities more desirable. In simple words, you became so bored that the boring stuff becomes more fun. Staying away for even one day from high dopamine behavior will benefit you multifolds. This is what I personally do. I list down all the low dopamine activities and reward myself with low amount. Remember, low amount of high dopamine activities. So cleaning home, cooking, reading books, etc. After my work is done, I reward myself with some amount of high dopamine activity at the end of the day. It is possible to make doing difficult things feel easier but when your brain is getting so much dopamine all the time you want to be excited about working on something which doesn't release much dopamine that is why we might want to limit our phones and computer usage along with other high dopamine releasing behaviors now if you have liked this video and you have learned something new we urge you to click on the like button to share this video with your family and friends and remember to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss these kind of videos to make your lives better. Life's Work Technology saying bye bye and we meet you in our next educational and upbringing and uplifting video. Until then, stay abundant and stay blessed.